the enchanted land of ice cream. Srinidhi, Saranya, and Srinaya were playing hide-and-seek in the park when they noticed an ice cream truck parked nearby. The driver, Mr. Scoops, looked friendly, and the sound of his ice cream bell was too tempting to resist. As they approached the truck, Mr. Scoops greeted them with a smile and served them their favorite flavors. They couldn't stop praising his ice cream, and Mr. Scoops seemed happy to have made their day. After a while, Mr. Scoops noticed a patch of grass that looked different from the rest. He walked over and found that it was a trap door. He couldn't resist his curiosity and decided to open it. As the children peered over his shoulder, they saw a dark tunnel leading downwards. Mr. Scoops was hesitant, but the children's excitement was contagious. Let's explore, Srinidhi said. The others nodded in agreement and they climbed into the tunnel. After walking for a few minutes, they saw a faint light in the distance. They quickened their pace and were amazed by what they found. The tunnel led to a world made entirely of ice cream. There were mountains of mint chip, rivers of strawberry, and clouds of cotton candy. The children couldn't believe their eyes. As they explored the land, they came across three different paths. Each path had a sign and the children read them aloud. Robot Explorer, Srinidhi said, pointing to the first path. Elf Princess, Saranya read out the second path. Dolphin teacher, Srinaya said, looking at the third one. The children were confused. They didn't know which path to take. Just then, they heard a voice behind them. Welcome to the enchanted land of ice cream. I'm the ice cream fairy, and I'm here to help you make your choice. The ice cream fairy explained that they could only take one path, and each one held its own adventure. She also warned them that the paths were not easy, and they would face several challenges. Srinidhi, Saranya, and Srinaya looked at each other and made their decision. They were determined to face any challenge that came their way. As they set off on their chosen path, they knew that they were starting a delicious adventure, a journey that would change them forever. As the trio entered the enchanted land of ice cream, their eyes widened in amazement as they took in the sight before them. Everything was made of ice cream, the trees, the flowers, even the houses. The air was thick with the sweet scent of vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate, and they could hear the soft jingle of an ice cream truck in the distance. Wow, this place is amazing, exclaimed Srinidhi as he looked around in wonder. Saranya nodded in agreement. Yes, but we must remain focused. We are here on a mission, remember? Their mission was to find the legendary rainbow ice cream, which was said to have magical powers that could heal any ailment. Srinaya, the youngest of the group, was sick and needed the ice cream to get better. As they ventured further into the enchanted land, they came across an old ice cream maker who told them that the rainbow ice cream was kept in a secret location that only a few knew about. He also warned them of the dark witch who guarded the location with her army of giant gummy bears. Undeterred, the trio continued on their journey, determined to find the rainbow ice cream and save Srinaya. As they made their way through the candy cane forest, they suddenly heard a loud rumbling noise. They turned around to see a swarm of giant gummy bears running towards them, led by the witch herself. We must protect Srinaya, shouted Saranya as she drew her sword. Srinidhi activated his laser beams and started shooting at the gummy bears, while Saranya engaged the witch in a sword fight. Meanwhile, Srinaya used her echolocation to locate a nearby ice cream truck that they could use as a shield. The battle was intense, but the trio was determined to overcome their opponents. Just when it seemed like they were winning, the witch let out a piercing scream that sent a shock wave through the air. To their surprise, the shock wave caused the giant gummy bears to turn into adorable little teddy bears, and the witch turned into a kind-hearted old lady. I was under a spell all these years, she explained. Thank you for breaking it. Please take as much rainbow ice cream as you need. With the help of the old lady, the trio finally found the rainbow ice cream, and Srinaya took a lick of it. Instantly, she felt better, and everyone celebrated their victory with a scoop of delicious rainbow ice cream. As they made their way back to the real world, the trio realized that they had not only succeeded in their mission, but also made a positive change in the enchanted land of ice cream. They learned that being kind and brave can bring about unexpected rewards and that they had truly lived up to the moral of the story. 
to be the change they want to see in the world. The trio emerged from the hidden tunnel and found themselves back in the real world with the ice cream truck parked nearby, just as they had left it. Srinaya was beaming with joy, feeling better than she had in weeks. Thank you so much for saving me, she said, twirling around in excitement. Srinidhi and Saranya smiled at her, feeling happy that their mission had been successful. They loaded up the ice cream truck with all the different flavors of ice cream they had acquired in the enchanted land and started driving through the town. As they made their way through the streets, they saw the smiles on the children's faces as they handed out ice cream cones. Srinidhi had programmed his robot arms to scoop out perfect swirls of ice cream, and Saranya had brought along some magical sprinkles that changed color with every bite. Srinaya was having the time of her life swimming in a pool of ice cream and playing games with the children. The trio had made a positive impact in the community, bringing joy and happiness to everyone they met. As the day drew to a close, they parked the ice cream truck and gathered around a small table, eating some leftover ice cream. They talked about their adventure in the enchanted land of ice cream and how they had managed to defeat the witch and her army of gummy bears. I'm so proud of us, said Saranya, beaming with pride. And I'm so grateful to have you both as my friends, added Srinidhi, nodding in agreement. Srinaya smiled at them both, feeling a sense of warmth in her heart. She had made two amazing friends who had gone on a magical adventure with her to save her life. It was a day she would never forget. As they said their goodbyes, the trio knew that they had made a difference in the world. They had learned that when you are kind and brave, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. And with a final wave, they set off on their next adventure, ready to make the world a better place, one scoop of ice cream at a time.